West Ham. It's Ossie Villain. The Grindavik manager. I have Mubama on loan. Yes, I have him. He's not a missing person. Look, actually, the reason I'm calling is I'd like to keep him until the end of the season. No. Look, I don't think you understand. I'm trying to do a YouTube series here. I need to finish in the top three or I'm going to get sacked. And he's the only one scoring goals. It's like you don't care about my job. Hey guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome back to Grindavik on the Impossible Dream. It is episode 7 and today we have two big games in the league. Uh, I forget who they're against. We'll find, I couldn't pronounce the teams anyway, even if I knew. Uh, so we'll get to that momentarily. But the news is a depressing news in that uh, Mubama's contract, loan contract, it doesn't go to the end of the season. This is possibly on me for, you know, summer seasons and not quite knowing how to do a loan. Uh, and by possibly, I mean definitely. And... Well, we have a bit of a problem because, well, we're trying to replace someone who is essentially free. No wages, no loan fee. And given our financial situation, it's proving problematic. Now, the transfer window closes in about four days' time. It'll close during this episode. And I don't know, as I sit here right now, what we're going to do because we need Mubama. And Janssen has not quite been the goal-scoring machine I was hoping he would be. So, no, I should say he doesn't leave during the episode. His contract goes till, uh, where is it here? So, to sort of the end of August. So, we'd miss him for the final month of the season or so. But we need to, we need to obviously solve the problem before the transfer window closes. So, that's going to be interesting. That's the problem for me, though. We've got four games to catch you up on. Uh, the first one was against Vikinger. We took the lead when Moa picked out Mubama. But Vikinger were level at halftime. Before Moa and Mubama combined again to restore our advantage. So we rode our luck in this one, particularly towards the end. You can see they really did have quite a few decent chances there. But uh, we were okay. We, I mean, I wouldn't say we didn't deserve to win, but... It certainly wasn't our most convincing performance of the season, particularly against a team that I believe was at the time and is still bottom of the division. Uh, the next game to catch you up on is against a team that I can't pronounce. So yes, put us ahead midway through the second half. And Angon Gala picked out Trevor to seal the points. So we played well in this one. We really, really did. Um, yeah, and Dongala played... Well, you can see from the match ratings, most people played well. Moa is playing a lot of games right now, and I think he's getting tired. He's sort of... He's just good, though. That's, it's difficult not to pick him, and even if he is tired, he'll do sort of something every now and again just to create something for us. But I don't know what we're going to do without Mubama. I really, he didn't score in this one. Great strike from Sayas as well. But anyway, you can see there, everything was good. For Kovic, I actually criticised his performances before the game. Played an 8.1, so that was good. And uh, yeah... Next up was against, I think they are still top of the league. They were certainly top of the league when we played them. Selfoss, something or other. We fell behind after half an hour. And we're 2 0 down moments later. And Dongala found Mubama to pull one back before half time. And Ziva had his level before Selfoss restored their lead. So this one reminded me a little bit of the FH game in the cup. We were brilliant in this game and genuinely I believe we would have won if uh, Dimitrovsky wasn't playing. He missed the penalty when it was uh, still 2-0 and uh, just generally speaking played horrible. Uh, you can see from the XG, 2.5 for us, less than 1 for them. They were What they were, they were a, a fairly good side I'd say. Uh, but they were just clinical. They were, I mean they weren't, you know, they didn't look outstanding but they just just took their chances and never looked like missing when they sort of got their chances that came through. So if we could play, if we could do that, we'd be winning games eight, nine, ten goals. I'm convinced by it. But yeah, wasn't to be on this occasion. Uh, final game to catch you up on was against Vestry. Moa crossed for Endongala to give us the lead. But Vestry were instantly level. Maya picked out Endongala's run to restore our advantage. But Vestry were again level before half time. Oh, this was so, so frustrating. If Dimitrovsky had maybe not been out for a Sunday jog, uh, you know, that second goal or Thursday jog as the case may be, who knows what could have happened here. Absolutely dominated the game. 66% possession, you know, 23 shots. And... 
Yeah, I mean, Dimitrovsky will not be playing in the first game today. That is for sure. Zivkovic was poor again. I think we're going to drop him. And uh, yeah, very, very frustrating indeed. But let's have a look at the league table. And we can see that we are still there or thereabouts. We're five points out of the promotion places just now, which obviously isn't ideal, but we're sitting in fifth. I don't know exactly what we would need to do to not get sacked. Now, the issue that I have is that my contract is up at the end of the season. So if we look at Club Vision here, uh, they're saying we're doing a C-plus job right now. They're pleased with my management of the team. Are they pleased enough to offer us a new contract? That is going to be that's going to be the question, isn't it? But they're not displeased with anything we're doing. And if we look at the supporters, uh, they are also relatively speaking pleased, and they do have a, a moderate level of influence on the board. So, yeah, I don't know. I I just I just don't know. Supporters think we're doing a C, so they they think we're doing a slightly worse job than what the board does. But again, they're more or less satisfied with what we're doing. I just don't know if that's enough for us to get a new contract or not. But anyway, let's have a look and see what we're doing here in this first game today. We are at home against uh, the team currently in fourth, and uh, we can see they're playing a 4-4-2. And this is what we're doing. It is Bernardson in goal. Exen, Zeba, Gunnarsson, and Renatsen uh, are the back four. Sayas, Meyer, and Litson go in midfield. Oskarsson and Ndongala are the wingers. Mubama is the striker. Mo is on the bench if we need him, along with Trevor. Uh, Jonsson as well. We might need to start getting him a little bit more match sharp. And uh, Dimitrovsky, if we feel like conceding a goal, we can always bring him on as well. Okay, so we can see the team sheets there. Uh, again, I, I'm not recognizing names as of yet. Still a little bit too early in the series for that. This is the match we should be winning. Make sure we do. Uh, I think... Shut a few people up with the criticism. Stick to the game plan. We'll be fine. We've demotivated people with that. Excellent. Disheartened. Demotivated. Oh, why do I bother? Oscarson, mate, you wanted to play games. Unbelievable. Oh, that's worse. All right. Well, let's hope it goes uphill from the team talk, shall we? Um, I am changing the tactics a little bit here to just try and get it uh, distribute to the flanks. Just try and get it forward a little bit more quickly. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly what else to do. I, I mean, I like the fact that we're dominating possession, but we're not really doing anything with it. So I, my thought process right now is we'll just go more, more and more direct until we sort of start. Uh, maybe convert, even if we have less possession for more chances i'd be absolutely fine with that but yeah we this we need to score goals and we also need to stop conceding silly goals at the back as well but i mean that i'm not quite sure what to do say us with a ball for good nuts and you can see what he's looking for but not quite uh, in the right spot and can we win that please we should get that back zebra is there he gets it wide there for Renatsen, looking for Mubama. Mubama does a nice little spin on the defender. He's got no one with him, and it's straight into the goalkeeper's hands. We really needed Ndongala getting forward at the back post there, didn't we? Gunnarsson has it. Gunnarsson gets it forward, looking for Mubama. There it is for Ndongala. He's got a nice little run going here. Ndongala, can he find the finish? Oh, he can! And Deido Ndongala gives us the lead in the seventh minute. And that was very, very nicely done. Playing on the left-hand side in place of Moa. And look at that. Picks it up nicely. Just runs at the defense. Mubama running. Uh, it's like he's playing American football. Running a, def was a defensive block or whatever it's called. And it looked like it took a little deflection off the defender as well. Which probably helped it pass the goalkeeper. But that's not our problem. It is one nothing. Let's give them some praise. And we've got another highlight here as Eggs on Toast. Gets it forward for Mubama. Lidson made a good run there, but we couldn't quite find him. We do now. Exxon to back post. Oskarsson goes down. Surely. Oh, Mubama. That's all that was done. It's Engongala. Those two names cannot play together. It's, it's too much. But he's absolutely barged the defender over. And the referee apparently is just not giving any, uh, any penalties or fouls today. Look at this. That is surely a penalty. <laughs> I mean, that's surely a foul. Ah, it doesn't matter. It's all, it's all even in the end. It's 2-0, and Dongala is showing who's going to score the goals when Mubama leaves. And, uh, well, this is this is looking very nice. They put us up into the top three as things stand as well. And we've got another highlight. Maya on a booking always makes me nervous. And there goes the ball over the top, and thankfully they can't finish. Uh, we're looking complacent, which isn't great. Uh, we'll give them some praise. Oskarsson to Meyer, Renatsen getting forward, Litson, Litson looking for Mubama, it's a cracking ball and Mubama is there, 
15th goal of the season. We are going to miss him when he goes. I'll keep trying. I did try to extend the loan, I should say. The issue was that uh, West Ham, they wanted him to have a different environment in which to play in. Which, from his development point of view, I understand. But I kind of, I just think, let him finish the season. And then, you know, then send him somewhere else. But it, it's the problem, isn't it, with the Summer League. They're sort of, they're going off an English schedule. We're going off our Icelandic schedule. But if he's leaving at the end of August, I mean, they're going to have a week to find him another club anyway. Let him stay here and then take him back in January would have been my thought. But anyway, and Dongala with a little bit of space in the box. Back for Sayas. Oh, we're scoring goals now. It's 4-0 inside half an hour. And, well, let's hope that this is going to work for us because we are good enough. I'd say we're good enough to win this division. But I don't think we don't often get outplayed. We make silly defensive mistakes and, and concede in some games more goals than we should. But even in those games... We do, we do play well. Now, we've only had 53% possession here, or 52% possession, but we are using it. And perhaps that is the problem or the mistake that I've been making. It's just we're just faffing around with it too much, and they've pulled one back there. Eggs and beaten at the back post, and I've been a little bit disappointed by him. I thought he was going to come in and, and really dominate the league from left back, but he's not done that. I mean, that's a good head up. And maybe he couldn't have done too much more there on that particular occasion. Lidson with a free kick. Can we extend the lead back out? Not quite. Sayas, I think, with the ball just over. And he's been brilliant this season for us as well. The amount of times that uh, the ball gets sort of played forward and he's the man that is that is sort of tracking back more so than the defenders is uh, quite incredible. Now, have they, have they uh, switched on here? Have we just angered the beast a little bit? I wonder if... Uh, we look to hold possession a little bit more now. We've got the goals. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Uh, let's see if that actually works. We're in first half stoppage time. What we don't want is to go in at 4-2 because the two-goal lead just then starts to look a little bit iffy. And there's a ball over the top. Bernison is there. It's actually a decent save. We haven't seen much of Zivkovic doing that. Another ball forward. Mubama can't quite get to it. And, uh, I mean, it's a bit of hoofball right now. <laughs> I mean, they were supposed to be a ticky-tack side. I mean, they're, they're as much ticky-tacker as AFC Wimbledon are. And there's another goal back. Okay, so we're going to have to have a little bit of a rethink at half time here about defending. And you can kind of see what I mean about we're just all at sea. I wonder if they're playing 4-4-2. I wonder if we stick another centre-back in there. Um... If that makes us a little bit more solid. Gunnarsson is having a terrible game. Uh, well, we will say don't get complacent because, I mean, we're not looking particularly great right now. Uh, you've been absolutely brilliant. And Dongala, you're fine. Um, Gunnarsson, I'm going to say not so much, mate. If you could uh, get your act together. And the goalkeeper as well. Um, yeah, not so, he's, now he's the motor. Oh, Jesus Christ. Snowflakes is what we have here, isn't it? All right. Makes me sound like a grumpy boomer, doesn't it? All right, what are we going to do here? What do we do with this defense? Do we sit deeper? Do we not press? The problem is them just hoofing it over our heads, isn't it? So I guess we sit deeper is the way to stop that, isn't it? So we'll do that. If we're going to sit deeper, let's not play you on the cover, though I do wonder if you're not playing on the cover, what is the point of you? But... We'll see how he goes. And hopefully we can get out there. If we can get another goal, that would be brilliant. Um, I would be I will be so annoyed if we go 4-0 up and don't win the game. But especially at home. We'll just keep praising them. Uh, Binnett Koo has got an injury, so we'll bring on Hasasic to play there, which is not ideal. We still are sort of struggling for a left back, uh, sort of backup option. As the ball is headed away there. Zeba gets out. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's 4 3. Gunnarsson, mate, you can come off. I, I mean, Dimitrovsky cannot possibly do any worse than you're doing. Oscarson, you wanted to play, mate, and you're doing an absolutely terrible job of it. Uh, so, what we'll need to do, though, is we'll need to go and switch Moa and, and Dongala back around. 
and well i think we go back to we go back to that don't we just get the ball out wide nice and quickly get the wingers involved uh, let's give them a focus i mean they've had four shots on target and scored three goals Dimitrovsky over the ball. Maya has it. And Don Gallo goes to make a run. We go forward there for Mubama, for Litson. Litson gets it wide for Moa. Can Moa seal it up? Yes, he can. Surely that is going to be enough now. 5 3. And a very nice goal as well. I think we just, we just, uh, we don't, we're not going to be a sort of team that can see games out clearly. We're just going to have to just keep attacking. It'll be Kevin Keegan's Newcastle in Iceland. Moa, wonderful goal. Really good finish. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Endongala and, uh, and Moa, they could be very, very important when Mubama leaves. They do look playing this particular way. This is the first time I've uh, played this when I stopped playing uh, after recording last episode. I kind of had a thought about, think about, like I sort of played through to get ready for this episode. And then I had to think about things and thought, you know, maybe we could do this. And, well, it certainly seems to be working, doesn't it? The goalkeeper is not playing well. Goalkeeper just in general is a problem. Um, so if he's going to be just as bad, Zivkovic is attribute-wise the better goalkeeper. So perhaps we just go with him. Ziba lumps it forward. Meyer will get onto that. And here we go with Renatsen now to Litson. Can Litson pick a pass? He can for Endongala for Mubama. And he has another goal. It is six. Six goals we have scored. The game set match, 6-3, surely. Uh, let's praise them. And this, I'm hoping, is the way forward for us now. We have not scored this many games in a match for a long, long, goals in a game for a long, long time. And actually, it was a little bit uh, of fortune there because it wasn't a uh, Endongala pass. It was a tackle that fell for Mubama. But that's absolutely fine. And can we go and get another one now? And if we can keep playing like this, maybe even Jonsson up front would be able to stick away enough goals for us to, to get through to the end of the season in a good place come on defensively though we still don't look good do we decent save from the goalkeeper and a little bit of luck as the ball comes back off the post towards uh, Hasasic and well we should be able to roughly see this out now six goals in a game it's been very very nice indeed a little bit of a <laughs> little bit of a fright in the middle there when it got back to 4-3 but in the end absolutely fine and that is a very very good win indeed so we can see the other results from the match day and that result moves us up into third only two points albeit with a game extra being played away from uh, from promotion so absolute goal fest Exxon is uh, fine he's got a bruised knee we've got a goal bonus coming for Endongala ideally he wouldn't uh, be paid that but we're not going to ask him to take something out of his contract that's there because he's doing exactly what we wanted him to all right guys wait right there we'll see if we can get another win up soon okay welcome back now the transfer window has closed we had one in one out on deadline day uh mcshane has left uh he was unhappy he wasn't registered in the squad so uh we just let him go so he's playing h uh, playing for hk so no doubt he will come back and haunt us uh the signing we got in though we needed a striker we got a center back uh so Aaron Antonson. Now, he's actually, I think, going to be quite good. £220 a week, which is roughly what McShane was on. So we just kind of evened out on the on the, on the the finances there. Uh, but sign him as a squad player. And let's have a quick look. You can see the contract uh, details there. Uh, let's have a quick look at him. And for 19 years old, I don't think he's too bad. Lacks a bit of pace, obviously, but that's you know he's obviously a, a big uh, a big guy for center back good positioning though so i'm hoping that that and anticipation will sort of help counteract a little bit that he's a little uh, a bit slow but good tackling good marking okay heading and uh, yeah i think he could do quite well a little bit of room to develop though how much he will develop you know given that we're a part-time club is uh, probably debatable so he has uh, he has come in and we'll just have to make do with what we had for strikers there was just nothing there really really was nothing that we could do uh we have had a player list uh, get listed for he wanted a transfer request it's never a good idea i don't think when someone asked, um you know asked for a transfer request and my first reaction is who are you uh he is a striker that we've not used all year so maybe in hindsight given that we might need a striker but he's not registered in the squad anyway so it doesn't particularly matter but anyway contracts up in 
of the year for him and he no end of next year so we actually do need to get rid of him relatively quickly because he's on almost 400 pounds a week anyway all beside the point windows closed let's have a look at what we're doing here against uh hookah now they are newly promoted they are also in the uh, at the bottom of the division so hopefully we can uh, get the result here it looks like they got two debutants as well now we have two suspensions Renatsen, the right back is suspended as is Maya so we're without them for this one so that being the case uh Zivkovic comes back in to play goalkeeper Binaku Ziba Zlemdal and Hasasic are the back four Sayas Trevet and Litson go in midfield and Dongala and Moa are the wingers Mubama is up top and let's hope we can uh, keep these goals flowing. All right, so we can see the team sheets there. Now, you may be wondering where Dimitrovsky is. Uh, we're trying to sell him. He has dro He's dropped off the, with uh, Anderson coming in. So, uh, I mean, I've not been super impressed with him. He's on £500 a week. And uh, uh, let's go out there and enjoy ourselves tonight. And so, yeah, I just thought we could, and I think we're getting a small transfer fee, about a grand, I think it was. Uh, assuming that this all goes through, but it was a club, I'm um, assuming back in Macedonia that he wants to go to. So I think it'll probably work out better for everybody if we can get it done. Uh, oh, my chair's almost fallen to pieces on me. Uh, yeah, so we'll just kind of see what happens there, but we need to start and... Well, not so much, it's not even so much the age profile, but certainly the wages. Uh, we need to keep, I think, bringing them just keep bringing them back as much as we can. The board did inject another 110 grand uh, into the club. Uh, it's obviously it helps, but it's not really uh, it's not really gonna solve the problem directly. Now there was a comment a couple of episodes actually a few episodes ago now uh, about organising a friendly cup with bigger teams, and although you pay a fee to get them to come, you'll get TV money for it. Uh, the issue we have with doing that right now, and I did look at it, uh, especially given that it's uh, sort of the, a lot of the, the bigger leagues are coming in. Mubama, oh, just couldn't quite find the back of the net on that one. Yeah, because they're all in pre-season. The issue is that w because we're in season, we don't actually have any time to, to organize a friendly cup. Uh, certainly not in a way that wouldn't affect the, uh, the our ability to then play uh, games in the league with, with top players that are that are fresh. So, oof. and it's back in by Sayas. So I just think right now, I given that the board is injecting money into the club, I'm not as concerned by the debt as I was. So... I think we'll definitely try and do that and just see if it works for us. Maybe it won't. Maybe we'll end up making a loss, but Ndongala just couldn't quite get to that. And we need somebody on the cover, please. This is looking a little bit dangerous. They are supposed to be a Gagan pressing side as uh, Zeba. That. <laughs> oh, we got away with one there, didn't we? That looked a penalty to me. Moha on the ball, though. Twisting and turning. Say as to Litson. Litson gets it forward for Mubama. Mubama's in. Can Mubama find the back of the net? Of course he can. And it is his 17th of the season. It's 1-0 away from home. And, well, with a win here, we could go into the uh, into the promotion places. And, yeah, I mean, it's such a strange league. And I'm wondering if the top flight, hopefully we eventually get there, is going to be similar, where it's, it does seem like anybody can beat anybody else. So... I mean, any points away from home seem like gold. And as long as you're winning at home, then you're a chance. And Dongala with a chance now. What can... Oh, he loses out. And Hasasic needs to try and get back. Can he keep him out wide? He's not quite quick enough, is he? There's Sayas getting back. Zeba as well. And the lead didn't last long. Which is always annoying. Let's tell him to focus. And it's the sort of goal that we're very good at conceding. We just don't... I don't know if it's if it's pace all the way through our defence. I mean, it seems, yeah. Maybe we do instead of sitting at sort of a standard line. We need to go and sit actually deeper again. But there we go, one one at the break. We've had sixty eight percent possession again, but eight shots, only one on target. Let's everybody dig in. I can get on board with that. We'll pump our fists. We have faith in you all, and. Yeah, we just need to be maybe just a little bit better this half. I wonder if uh, if we look to exploit the flanks and get rid of that. We are still, yeah, distributing it wide quickly. So we'll try that, see if that works for us. Neither of our wingers have played particularly well, so I wonder if they're just not getting into the game as much as we'd like them to. We'll encourage, and we've got a highlight. 
But Grindavik faithful have packed out the away end there behind the goal. We're attacking and we've won it back there. Mo up. Now, let's see what he can do. He's an assist machine, which reminds me, actually, we need to start discussing our viewers player of the year nominees. Oh, ball in, Rubama, is he onside? I think he is. What the cross from Edson. Has it been given? It has been given. And it's a wonderful header. Wonderful, wonderful header from Rubama. I thought he might have been offside. He's done well, has he? Oh, ooh, no, it's that man there that's maybe played him on. I'm not convinced he's onside, to be honest. But Binaku whipped it back in quickly, and we've retaken the lead. Uh, yeah, so viewers play with the year. If you're new to the channel, uh, we have an award at the end of the season that is voted on by you guys, obviously viewers player. So whoever you think has been our best player or maybe your favorite player this season, let me know in the comments and we'll start to get this list together so we can vote on it. Exxon with a brutal tackle, but he's won the ball apparently. And uh, it's obviously any football like this in real This is kind of what the, you, you, know, you joke about Scottish football being like, Oh, Jesus Christ, guys. Learn to freaking defend. But yeah, I do wonder a little bit if this is if Icelandic football is like this at this level or if we're, uh, if we're just a bit of a brutal side. But that is very, very frustrating. And yeah, just no one picked him up. Sayas there, really, he should have been just that little bit further forward, shouldn't he? Now, I wonder if out of possession, we are dropping. I wonder if we try stepping up. And see if that helps us at all. So we'll encourage them again. We'll try again. We've got a corner. Moa to take. Can he find a Grindavik head? He can't. Mubama is there. He should keep possession for us. He does. He goes wide there for... Oh, it's a great ball in. And Lidson is there. Is it going to count? No, that's not going to count. Oh, maybe it was Mohar offside, perhaps. And we go again. Let's see what's going to become of this one. Slamdal is there, is he? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, Jesus Christ, guys. Unbelievable. You're absolutely killing me. Um. All right, well, let's, let's try feeding them inside and let's go more direct. Crosses in. Our defense is just, at times, laughable. Absolutely laughable. Let's switch these two around. Mohar is not having a great game. Certainly in terms of match ratings. He looks like he's done okay from what we've seen. Mubama has found himself in. Can he find? He does find Mohar. Mohar to Litson. That looked ambitious. And we, don't, we do just need to be a little bit, you know, just not panic too much, guys. But... It's another game. We've absolutely crushed possession. And we find ourselves behind. Litson gets it forward. And Dongala is there. He keeps it in and then loses out. Come on. Oh, where's the defense? I have... And you wouldn't know it by looking at it. We are using, we do, using training to use like defensive shape and engage defending and disengage defending and... All those sorts of things. Defensive shadow play. We just don't seem to have any shape about us whatsoever. I mean, we are the ultimate team of just... You don't know what you're going to get. I wonder if we've been a little bit... I mean, Hasasic isn't a great right back... I wonder if Renatsen has been missed. Maybe we should have played Helgeson. See if Kovic is doing my head in. And a game, that another game. I mean, you say we should have won. I mean, 67% possession, you should have won. But I don't know what to do with this team. I mean, I feel stupid saying that we're a good team, having seen that. But I genuinely think we are a good team. So there are the other results. Instead of going into the promotion places, we are three points back with an extra game having been played, and we drop down to fifth all of a sudden. So disappointing collapse does not begin to explain that. And yeah, we face an inquest after surprising loss to the worst team in the league. Yeah, I don't know. Do we go three centre-backs? I wonder. Slendal maybe coming in wasn't 
the greatest decision I've made. I just don't know what to do. But anyway, um, don't forget to leave, start leaving your nominations. We'll come back. Uh, we won't come back in too long because IBK a fourth, HK a second. So those are two really big games at the top of the table. So we'll come back for those. Uh, we will start to get to set the nominations list together. And I will see you. See you next time. Take care.